Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, Lorena. How are you? Hi, teacher. It's good to have you here, my dear. How is it going? Como vamos? Nice to see you too. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> a little bit later because I didn't have time to complete some sessions from um, in the platform. Okay. But so, do you need some help? Uh, do you have questions? No, 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 no. I don't have time. Okay. Uh, you can do uh, the best uh, you can in order to complete little by little. So the idea is that you can, in this week, you can finish the section number three and the midterm exam, okay? I already uh, finished the, um, in the platform, the session number three. Okay, so you are okay. You can wait and then finish uh, by the end of next week, okay? So this week, we are going to work on the section number four. We are going to complete the section four. And for next week, we are going to finish the section five. So okay. it's until next week by Friday and Saturday that you need to complete everything. So you don't worry, you don't, you don't stress yourself, okay? <laughs> it's going to be okay next week. For this week, the requirement was just finish the section number three and the midterm exam. Okay, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, excellent. So, and how was your weekend? Nice, very good. At home really? because we cannot go out. Uh, no. I have two kids. Well, well, not two kids, but I have an adolescent, fifteen. She's fifteen years old, and I have a five years old. So imagine very a little difficult. big difference. Uh, but I have to create different activities to stay home because I prefer to don't have them at risk. Not yet, okay. And okay. that's why we, we prefer to stay at home. It's not easy, but we do different activities. <laughs> Very difficult yeah. have a have a teenager. Yes, because they I, want to go out, they want to have meeting, meetings with friends. All time is boring. Yes. All the time. They are bored all the time. Yeah. That's true. Oh. So Okay, what about you? How was your weekend? Uh, Titan. I have two little kids, one um, four years old, and the other one is three years old. Oh, cute. Um, I yeah. know, it's very, very, very hard tight. working. I know. And I also have a, um, a puppy. Oh, and <laughs> yeah, it's like a baby. Tired. Yeah. Tired. You have yes. three babies, actually. <laughs> and, and I have. Two big kids, my mm -hmm. husband and yeah. my big boy. <laughs> so. Yeah, so you have four. <laughs> Actually, you have four. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. But uh, God gave us enough strength to continue. So you, you don't discourage whenever you feel like you have a lot of work to do. You just breathe deep, relax yourself. <laughs> Be quiet and calm and stay by the priorities. Start by the priorities, okay? <laughs> Some people say that when you have three kids, you are like, a, oh my God, you're the best. Because, no. <laughs> yes, because um, it is not easy to have a lot of kids. In how oh, no we are not perfect mom that's that's true that we do our best but we are not perfect in everything so thank i you. encourage you to continue <laughs> thank <Okay>. you <laughs> welcome hello roberto how are you today how was your weekend is everything okay can you hear us i would like to know if you have difficulties with the platform or maybe adrian hello adrian Hola, Adrián. Hello, teacher. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Uh, so, so. I'm tired. I know. I'm sorry. We were saying that too. Thanks. Okay. Uh, what about, I know, a lot of homework to do. I understand yes. that so perfectly. <laughs> I work on my, uh, my, on my daughter the, here, uh, class, classmate. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, cute. 
But you are a very good dad because you're happy. That's good. Okay. I would like to know, Adrian, if you need some help with the platform or some support. Uh, I, fin I finished the section three uh, yesterday. And the midterm exam also? Uh, yes, yes, okay. two. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. Remember that I can help if you need me, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Adrián. So I encourage you to continue also because I know it's not easy having kids uh, studying at home. Okay. Uh, yeah. You have to, a lot of work to do and additionally homework. Okay. Uh, so let me say hello to Carlita. Hello, Carlita. Pertame, pertame el otro, mi amor. Hello, teacher. Good night. How was your weekend, my dear Carlita? El, el otro Is everything okay? Okay. Uh, were you able to complete this section three in a platform and the midterm exam? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Remember that if you need help, whenever you need help, you can uh, you can uh, look for me in the chat and write and I can help you, okay? Okay, so, thanks. Elizabeth, welcome. How was your weekend? I go after. Good, Good evening. evening, my dear. How was your weekend? Is everything okay? It's very tired. I know, I know. I'm just <laughs> asking how is the platform and if I can help if you were able to complete the section three and the midterm exam. Mm, no, todavía no le he terminado. Mm -hmm. Pero tengo un problema. Uh -huh. eh, que creo que le tengo que hablar a, a uno de los chicos porque hay un, hay un audio que no lo puedo escuchar. Okay. De, 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 de uno de los, de los knowledge check. Okay, okay. So you identify which one is and let us know, maybe we can download and send it to you or uh, you can write directly to, to Jonathan. If you, work, if, you, if you write directly to him, it's better because maybe this is a problem in your computer and, and he can help you, okay? Okay, thank you. I can do, I can send you the audio if you want, but it won't solve, uh, I think it won't solve for next time. So it's much better that you contact him and he can help you to, to check if your computer uh, is not um, using some, I don't know, maybe some complements that you need to download in order to run the application. Okay. I have Thank you. that problem, Elizabeth, and uh, what I do or, or what I did uh, was open the audio in another window. In the other window, yeah. Yes. In, I'm in, trying. Yes. In, um, there's a format in this way I can hear all the, the, the audio. I recorded uh -huh, the yeah. audio. Yeah, the recordings. Okay, I that, that would be an idea for try to. I, Elizabeth, even if you have a difficulty, you, you tell me if you don't solve because I can send a report. I can send a technical report request, but I will okay. need your email. But you try to contact him and only if he doesn't answer to you so fastly or so quickly, I can send a, a request. I only will need your email in order that he can communicate directly with you, okay? Okay, I give you in, in the chat. Yes, in uh, the, chat. the end of the class. Yes, mm -hmm. please. Okay, thank you. Thank Roberto, you. I don't know if Roberto can hear us. No sé si Roberto, chica, nos puede escuchar. Eh, okay, si no puede hablar, Roberto, está bien. I'm just offering my support just in case you need it in order to complete the section three, uh, at least the section three in the platform, okay? Okay, my dears, uh, for today, uh, I'm, I'm sharing with you my screen. Um, today we are going to finish the first topic that we started on Friday regarding to like and, likes and dislikes, but also we want to introduce um, uh, the positive and negative statements in a simple past. We can say that this week, uh, section four is all related to simple, simple past using regular and irregular verbs. And then you will practice a conversation which illustrates this topic, how this topic is used in real life settings. So we are going to talk 
a lot of past events uh, this week. So in the platform, in order to address this topic, you have the 4.3 simple past payments with, reg with regular verbs. In this case, we are going to learn the, the spelling rules for the, for the regular verbs, right? The ones that end by ed, okay? They end ed, but the pronunciation changes and they are divided in different groups. So we are going to have a very specific class in order that you can practice this um, right pronunciation of the, these kind of verbs. And then we will have the knowledge check. In this knowledge check, basically, you have to use the past in, the in, in affirmative and negative ways, okay? So that's what we are going to start today if time allow us, but uh, we would like that you can complete the the class that we started next, uh, I mean, last Friday, if you remember, we advanced a little bit with um, the likes and dislikes, which, which is the first topic for the section number four. If you remember, we talk about things that uh, we love to do or to eat, things that we like to drink or to do, things that we don't like, okay? Uh, things that we detest uh, or things that we hate, okay? And you gave us some different examples. Uh, we work with this, what I love, what I like, what I don't like, okay? And what I hate. Okay, so I think that we already did, did this, but I wanted to show you uh, this source, uh, which is called Civic Science. And they did like a survey uh, to ask people, what do you dislike the most when it comes to holiday shopping in stores? For example, for, uh, before Christmas, uh, before special celebrations like some Valent uh, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, even in November, in some places they celebrate the Black Weekend, right? Or the Black Friday, and they have a lot of um, we can say commerce related to um, shop, right? So they ask people, what, you, what do you dislike the most? ¿Qué es lo que te desagrada más? When it comes to holiday shopping in stores, cuando tienes que hacer eh, compras en día festivo, ¿verdad? En las tiendas. So uh, in this case, 6% of the people say, said, I don't like anything. I enjoy it truly. Okay, es como nada me desagrada, verdad? Eh, o disfruto, verdad? Completamente. Eh, but 34% of people said crowds, las aglomeraciones, verdad? Un montón de gente. 12% said eh, they hate or they don't like or they dislike. Eh, para decir que I don't like, también puedo utilizar dislike, right? And dislike the most is lo que más me desagrada. Okay? So 12% said lines. Hacer fila, verdad? 18% said attitudes of other shoppers. La actitud de otros compradores. 5% said lack of customer service over staff availability. Falta de atención al cliente o la disponibilidad de personal. 3% said they dislike the most the lack of product selection, selection. Eh, falta de clasificación de los productos. 6% said other and 22% said I don't do any holiday shopping in stores. Es como, I won't give you an answer because I don't do any holiday shopping in stores. No puedo dar una respuesta o no aplica para mí porque no hago compra, ¿verdad? En día festivo. So another expressions to say for uh, likes and dislikes are, I really like. In this case, we are using an adverb, really. Really is an adverb. And then I say, I really like ice cream. I enjoy, this is a verb, enjoy, but help us to express that we like doing something. In this case, I enjoy cooking. I'm quite interested in English. Es como estoy 
bastante interesada, ¿verdad? En inglés. I think pets are wonder, wonderful. Ok, this is an, an adjective, wonderful. And uh, I use the verb, I think pets are, I can use also a negative adjective, like I think that pers, pets are um, noisy or pets are ugly or pets are, I don't know, if you want to say a negative trait or a negative adjective uh, in order to say that you don't like. But in this case, I think pets are wonderful. Son maravillosos, ¿verdad? Las, las mascotas. I really hate hot weather, right? I really hate, realmente odio. It's not only hate, I really hate. Todavía le pongo un adverb, ¿verdad? Puedo ir desde I really like hasta I really hate or I really detest hot weather. I don't like winter at all. Es como no me gusta el invierno del todo, ¿verdad? In this case, this, the winter with snow. I think too much, too much noise is really annoying, right? También estoy usando I think, pero con un eh, negativo, ¿verdad? O con una, un adjetivo que no es muy eh, favorable. So I think eh, too much noise, demasiado ruido, is really annoying. Realmente es molesto, ¿verdad? Okay, so those are other expressions in order to say likes and dislikes. So again, what do you like? What do you hate? What do you detest? What do you um, don't like at all? Okay. Um, why, what don't you like? O podemos preguntar de una vez en negativo, ¿verdad? What don't you like? What don't you mind? What don't you? Ese what don't you mind es que no te molesta, ¿verdad? I like, I hate, I love. I dislike, I really like, I enjoy, okay? So what I want you to do, lo que quiero que hagamos ahora, because we already used the first expression, ya utilizamos las primeras expresiones que son como I like, I don't like, I hate, I detest. But I want you to please now try to use these other expressions. Remember that the homework was that you should think something about what you like, what you don't like, Okay, so the idea is that you can use now that content. And I will give you some ideas. For example, when you don't, when you want to talk about something that you don't like uh, to do, you use, uh, I don't like to, to work. Podemos utilizar el negativo, I don't, en contractado, o I do not, si lo hacemos en la full, full form, like, el verbo, ¿verdad? Gustar y luego to work, el infinitivo, trabajar. No me gusta trabajar. But in this case, the main verb is like. En este caso, el verbo principal es like. Y to work se convierte como en una eh, ver, eh, phrasal verb, ¿verdad? Una eh, frase, ¿verdad? Ah, eh, como una eh, frase adverbial, por decirlo así, o verbal eh, de verbo para eh, expresar, ¿verdad?, lo que eh, no nos gusta. Phrasal verb sería. Eh, when you want to talk about eh, what you don't like at all, lo que no te gusta mucho o no te gusta del todo, you use eh, no me gusta para nada plus infinitive or no me gusta plus infinitive para nada, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos decir no me gusta para nada cantar. I don't like to sing at all. No me gusta cantar para nada. O también decimos, I don't like to sing at all. En este caso, básicamente es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Eh, en inglés, eh, básicamente es igual, solo que en español puede tender a cambiar un poco el meaning. Write the following sentences, for example, in Spanish. I don't like to go to the supermarket. No me gusta ir al supermercado. I don't like to rest at all. No me gusta para nada descansar, ¿verdad? En este caso es para nada, no necesariamente, no, literal es como no del todo, pero al final el meaning es para nada. I don't like walk the dog. No me gusta caminar con el perro. I don't like to skate at all. At all. No me gusta para nada patinar. Now write your own in Spanish. En este caso al español, but in English, I, I like this because 
eh, you understand better at all. Eh, me gustó esta lámina y quise traérselas porque aquí entendemos mejor el at all, porque cuando lo decimos así se entiende como que no del todo, ¿vea? pero ahí nos quedaríamos en un término medio. Pero cuando vemos el real meaning, el significado real es no me gusta para nada. De verdad, ya es de verdad que no me gusta. It's the same express, expression of um, hate. Similar, similar. Very close. Very close to hate. Okay. Yeah? Very close to hate. Um, or I dislike. No me gusta. I dislike. Okay. Look, thank you, Lorena. Look this. Uh, I, you can say, I like football, or you can say, I like going to football matches, okay? You can say, I really like, I enjoy, the, the, the expressions that I was uh, teaching previously, I really like, uh, excuse me, I enjoy skiing, right? Ese, I enjoy es como, me gusta, disfruto, me encanta, es como similar a decir, I love skiing. I love uh, playing the guitar, right? My sister is really fond of animals. Es really fond, es como, es muy apegada, es muy cariñosa, pero al final se, re, se refiere a le gusta, ¿verdad? O es amante de los animales. En español tenemos como eh, una variedad más grande o varios sinónimos para decir este fond of. I'm really crazy about watching football. Es como, ay, me vuelve loca el fútbol, o me enloquece, ¿verdad? I'm mad about, también se puede decir, I'm mad about my girlfriend, or seeing my girl, ¿ok? Estoy loco por mi novia o mi novio, ¿verdad? I could spend hours playing the guitar. Eh, podría pasar horas, ¿verdad? Pasan, tocando la guitarra, or doing an, an activity that I really like. I often feel like, eh, ese I often feel like, Plus, ING es como a menudo tengo ganas de, for example, I often feel like uh, cooking or I often feel like, um, eh, let's see, walking or I often feel like, I don't know, reading, okay? My favorite meal is, I'm not keen on, vea estas otras expresiones, keen on, aficionado, ¿verdad? On sushi or eating sushi, okay? I don't particularly like spinach, okay? Eh, en particular, ¿verdad? Eso no me gusta. Uh, it's not exactly my favorite dish, right? No digo no me gusta, pero lo digo de una manera bien diplomática, ¿verdad? Es como, es, no es exactamente mi plato favorito. No digo no me gusta, pero dejo claro que, que en realidad no me gusta de una manera bien polite. So let me share with you this. And I don't like doing my homework. Vea que está don't like plus eh, the main verb with ing. I don't like doing. ¿verdad? Y esa es una expresión también para decir que algo no me gusta. Eh, I don't enjoy going shopping. Vea que eh, puedo utilizar ¿Verdad? Eh, el ING. Cuando utilizo like or enjoy. Vea, I don't like doing my homework. Y estoy diciendo no me gusta hacer las tareas o los deberes. O puedo decir, I don't enjoy going shopping. No disfruto ir de compras. Entonces, cuando usted use like, I don't like, or I like, y utilice eh, do plus ING. O puede utilizar I don't enjoy. Después de like y después de enjoy, ¿verdad? La regla sería después de like y después de enjoy, sea en negative o affirmative, usted puede utilizar un ing to talk about preferences, ¿ok? Para hablar acerca de preferencias. You can say, I don't enjoy shopping. No. I don't enjoy going shopping. I don't enjoy um, traveling by bus. Never use as a verb. No. Joy is not used as a verb in this case. Uh, yes, it's the main verb, but with, with other verb in ing. It, mm. it becomes like, uh, they are called stated verbs. 
right? Like a noun and pronoun. <laughs> pronoun. Not exactly, but son unos, son unos, se vuelve como un helping verb de un verbo. Eh, estos se llaman, eh, son como un continuo, como un presente continuo, eh, como un presente continuo, pero con unos verbos especiales que se llaman eh, stated verbs o verbos de los sentidos, ¿sí? Como like, enjoy, prefer, eh, love, todos esos son verbos que expresan un deseo, una preferencia, ¿sí? Eh, son verbos sensitivos, sensoriales, ¿sí? Eh, de hecho se llaman stated verbs. Eh, quizá en otra clase se los traigo para que vean porque es una lista. Eh, que cuando usted los utiliza, puede utilizar eh, el, 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 en este caso, I don't like, este I don't like es, se vuelve una sola parte y el verbo principal es doing. Perdón, el verbo, en la frase eh, de gerundio es el doing, ¿verdad? El going. Y eh, en este caso el verbo es este, like, y el otro se vuelve como una frase eh, continua, ¿verdad? Eh, de presente continuo, pero eh, expresa una, un, una preferencia, ¿verdad? I don't like, mm -hmm. no me gusta. I don't enjoy, no disfruto. Eh, pero el, el siguiente expresión sí debe llevar el ing, right Ok. No, para que digan, no me gusta hacer, en este caso, el ING eh, del doing eh, no, no necesariamente dice no me gusta haciendo mi tarea, ¿verdad? Sino que no me gusta hacer. Toma un, eh, una forma de infinitivo. ¿Sí? O sea que todos estos verbos siguen esa regla. Después de eso, usted decir like, love. Sí, eh, todos los que expresan algo que... Eh, I think, eh, uh -huh. like, enjoy, eh, love, prefer, feel like. Ajá. Todos esos puede, o sea, la uh -huh. regla es que puede utilizarlo eh, con un ING y que en ese caso no reto eh, El punto es que aunque tome el ING, no es un presente continuo eh, que va a significar no me gusta haciendo mi tarea sino que este ing toma una forma infinitiva, ¿sí? Hacer, okay. hacer eh, en este caso ir, ¿verdad? Pero tiene que estar precedido por estos verbos, como like, enjoy, love, eh, think, sim, uh -huh, eh, etcétera, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Uh, they are not very common, but you need to know because you will find them in some reading, readings, right? No es muy común, ¿verdad? Pero lo pueden encontrar en algunas lecturas o en algunas expresiones de la gente. Entonces uno se queda y ¿por qué dice I don't like doing? Y por qué? porque uno tiene como la otra regla, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que saber que existen esas otras opciones. Vea este, I hate. Miren. I hate tidying up my room. Vea el tidying. Es, está con ING, pero básicamente lo que dice es odio ordenar. En este caso, tidying toma eh, la forma infinitiva. Ordenar mi cuarto. Eh, something that really annoys me is. También esa es otra expresión, ¿verdad? Algo que realmente me molesta es. Annoys. Annoys me. ¿Por qué la noise lleva una letra S acá? Porque estoy hablando de something. En este caso, el sujeto de la oración es something, algo que annoys me, me molesta a mí. I can't stand. Vea, este I can't stand es no puedo soportar, ¿verdad? Eh, it's another synonym of detest, right? I can't stand rainy days. No puedo soportar los días lluviosos o de lluvia, ¿verdad? I can't stand getting up early. No soporto levantarme temprano, vea. I can't stand. Y eh, después de este can't stand, ¿verdad que vea que lleva un eh, helping verb de los eh, um, modal, auxil modal auxiliaries o helping verb can't? En este caso, can, negative, can't stand, right? No puedo soportar. ¿Qué no puedo soportar? Getting up early. 
infinitivo. Toma la forma de infinitivo, levantarme. I prefer drinking tea to drinking coffee. Vea, prefer, otro. Otro verbo, después del cual podemos utilizar un ing como una forma eh, infinitiva. I prefer drinking tea to drinking coffee. Prefiero tomar té a tomar café. I find, me resulta o encuentro, very interesting, muy interesante, great, genial, a bit, or absolutely boring, muy aburrido, es a bit, or absolutely. A fantastic experience, una experiencia fantástica, ¿verdad? So that's my point of view, lo que a mí me parece o me resulta o lo que yo encuentro ser, and then I qualify. Uh, with an adverb in this case, very interesting or great. I'm really interested in history. De aquí, eh, I'm using an adverb, really, and these verbs in past. I'm really interested in history. Estoy interesado o interesada en historia. Okay, um, I'm really interested in reading novels. Me interesa leer novelas. I think that, eh, Reading is interesting because you can spend your vocabulary, okay? Teacher. Yes. What is the difference between I am really interested and very interesting? They are synonyms, actually. Son sinónimos realmente, porque uh -huh. es realmente y o muy interesada. Eh, son sinónimos en realidad. Y um, uh -huh. these uh, words can use in different tense, for, for example, past, present, or future. No, only the way is both. Eh, that's why I, I, I show you the first one that you use with ing, right? Uh -huh. Oh, in these cases, it's only ing to have a infinitive, see? Mm -hmm. But in this case, um, this is like an adjective, vea? Este interested, este verbo, eh, es, un, es un verbo en pasado. I'm really interested mm -hmm. in history. Pero en realidad, el verbo principal de esta oración, ¿cuál es? Really? No. Ese es un, ad, un adverbio, realmente. ¿Examinemos bien la, la oración? Please repeat the oration. I, I am really, I am really interested in history. Interested. No. Really. No. <laughs> okay. History. <laughs> no. <laughs> ok, let me show you. Um, aquí hay un verbo be. Ah, el verbo Hace to be. que no vemos el verbo to be porque vemos el que está en bold y creemos que este es el verbo principal de la oración, pero no lo es. Este, esta, esta, este verbo en, que aparentemente está en pasado se vuelve un adjetivo, ¿sí? Y el verbo principal es am. I am really interested in history. Vea, tengo sujeto más verbo principal más adverbio más adjetivo y luego complemento. Y básicamente dice, estoy, ¿sí? Estoy realmente interesado. Entonces ya, aunque parece verbo, en realidad es un adjetivo en este caso. ¿En qué está interesado? En historia. Entonces, eh, yo sé que este es un, un poquito tricky, en, pero but it's important that you know these expressions. Eh, sé que es un poquito más allá de lo que está en la plataforma de repente. Eh, pero quiero que lo vean porque son otras expresiones para, para decir likes and dislikes. Para expresar lo que me gusta y lo que no me gusta. Obviamente estas estructuras you will study later or further in, in, this, in these levels, ¿ok? Estas estructuras ustedes las van a estudiar más adelante, ¿verdad? Cuando ya estemos en los, avanzados, en los intermedios y avanzados, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, no se me preocupen, no se me carguen, porque ahorita, ¿cómo es eso? Vea que un verbo se vuelve adjetivo. It's, that's going to be later. Esto lo vamos a ver más adelante. But I just wanted you to know that there are some expressions for likes and dislikes. 
¿verdad? Pero solamente quería asegurarme que ustedes conocen que están esas expresiones también para expresar lo que me gusta y lo que no me gusta, ¿sí? Ok, I think that eh, is interesting because, for example, I can say, I think that English is interesting because eh, it opens you many doors eh, with other people to communicate eh, around the world. I find that eh, grammar is fascinating because you can build different uh, meanings, right? I would love to be able to travel this year. Me encantaría, ¿verdad? Poder viajar este año. One thing I want to learn is to. Vea, una cosa que me gustaría aprender es, por, for example, one thing that I will learn, that I want to learn is to, uh, maybe, I don't know, uh, French, Italian, uh, whatever, right? Algo que realmente quiero aprender. Ok, eh, that's it. And now, I would like that we can come back. Me gustaría que regresemos a esta parte, and to this part, and that you can continue uh, sharing about what you like and what you don't like, but trying to use these expressions. ¿Verdad? Si quieren utilizar alguna de estas, you can do it. I already sent you the, the image, but if you only want to use these ones, it's okay. Si solo quieren utilizar estas que son como las más comunes, it's okay. Okay, do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? No? Okay. No. Okay, excellent. So let me open the breakout room. So we are two, four, six. So we are going to have just two. And please join, my dears. Si nos unimos. And then the idea is that you can um, continue practicing and answering what do you like, what do you hate, what you love, or what you dislike. Voy a ver cómo eh, alguien me agrega al chat, porque si no, es primera vez que voy entrando. Teacher. Hola, teacher. Hello, my dear George. Uh, Les comentaba a las compañeras que voy entrando y es primera clase que entro. Ah, ok. Eh, ellas me dicen si estoy en, en el WhatsApp y les digo que no, entonces estoy perdido. Ok, George, don't worry, no se preocupe. Here we are a community of learning and a community of practice and we will help. Aquí estamos en una comunidad de aprendizaje, somos muy solidarios y le vamos a ayudar, no se preocupe. Eh, um, hay un detallito, Jorge, yo le puedo, yo, ah, pero es que igual, no, no, no. Eh, hay dos opciones, usted le eh, revisa su correo, cuando usted se inscribió al curso, eh, le debieron enviar un correo con el enlace de la eh, YouTube Playlist y también sus credenciales de cómo ingresar al, a la plataforma, ¿cierto? Sí, sí. Revíseme ese correo, por favor, y vea, eh, porque ahí tuvo que haberle llegado un enlace para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, eh, voy a revisar el correo sí. y... Si no, le voy a dejar ahorita mi número. Tiene cómo tomar nota para que usted me escriba y así yo, eh, a través del WhatsApp, le hago llegar ese enlace. Sí, tengo en qué anotar. Ok, 7874. Sí. 52. Sí. 
76. Patricia de Mora. Sí, usted me escribe, de verdad. Si, si no logra encontrar ese correo y no logra encontrar el enlace, me escribe, teacher, mire, soy Jorge Aguilar del grupo 3, ¿verdad? Y, y quiero que me mande sí. el enlace de, del WhatsApp group, ¿ok? Ok, y las disculpas. No se preocupe a la orden y de igual manera, que si usted tiene alguna dificultad con la plataforma, me pongo a sus órdenes para que me escriba, ¿verdad? Eh, si tiene alguna dificultad, usted me manda las capturas de pantalla y veo cómo le asisto, ¿verdad? De acuerdo, gracias, teacher. Ok, a la orden. Ok, Sam, gracias. leave you in order that you can continue working. Ok. Thanks. Seafood. I love seafood. <coughs> okay. And I love seafood too. Ah, okay. okay. And drinks. I like to drink coffee. I'm a coffee. I'm a, I'm a coffee girl. Um, <laughs> I like um, tea. I really hate hot water. I really hate raining days. I don't like okay. the I summer. Don't like. Okay. Okay. La última sería. I don't like um, um, lluvia. ¿Cómo sería? Raining. Raining day. Raining, Raining day. Uh, rainy okay. days, los días lluviosos. Or, uh, I, or I hate the rain, la lluvia como tal. Ah, uh, ok. Uh, I like... Rainy days hate... es día lluvioso. Sí, eh, okay. rainy days son los días lluviosos, que son es like gray and you cannot mm -hmm. see the sun, right? And it's like, like sad, right? But rain is that when the downpour comes and you're like, you're like very wet, because you didn't uh -huh. have a <laughs> so that's uh -huh. right. okay. <laughs> it, it, that it suddenly comes and appears and then you're not prepared and then you are completely wet <laughs> uh -huh. okay that's rain okay excellent okay see you in a minute okay 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 thank and you. then tomorrow uh, to eat Chocolate. I love chocolate. I love uh, chocolate cake, um, chocolate drink, sneakers, crunch, everything with chocolate for me is, is okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I... I really like uh, play soccer. Uh, 
and watch TV. And see the sport channel, for example. <laughs> okay. I don't I really like. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I had Ro Robert loves sports, we can say. <laughs> and Lorena loves coffee and chocolate. <laughs> yes. And I don't particularly like uh, eggplant. Ah, uh, yeah. Or, I, or mora, um, chipilín. No. No green things. <laughs> no, this, no. This green thing. <laughs> no, no. Okay. And I like, for example, uh, Talking about exercise, I like basketball, I like fitness, I like um, Zumba, oh. tennis, um, just that. Excellent. Just that sport. <laughs> what about I don't, like, Do you practice I, I, I don't like to see um, sport channels. <laughs> I dislike uh, dance. Okay. I, <laughs> can, I can I can dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ladies will teach you how to dance, okay? And then you will like. <laughs> okay, my dears. I'm going to come back in a minute, okay? I'm going okay. to give you now, okay? Thanks. Hello, hello, welcome back. Who was the exercise? Okay, I hope that you can hear me. Espero que me puedan escuchar. Sí, ¿verdad? Okay, excellent. Yes. So, who was the practice? I was listening to you and I even was talking to you because I, I feel like so funny and so interesting conversations. Exciting about <laughs> likes and dislikes. <laughs> yes, that's a very exciting conversation because you can be yourself, right? Saying what you enjoy and what you prefer and so on. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Jose, I'm going to... Okay, está por ahí mi amigo Jose o quizás todavía no ha regresado. Okay. Okay, my dears, uh, who wants to start? Who would like to share um, about likes and dislikes? Maybe Carlita and Elizabeth, porque no veo a Jose, no veo a Jorge, ah, como no. Sí, ahí está Jose, Jorge, perdón. Okay, uh, would you like to start, Elizabeth and Carlita? Okay. Yes. Okay, um, I really like the pizza. Mm -hmm. I enjoy dancing. Okay. I am, what is the pronunciation? Quiet, quit. Quiet. Quiet. I am quite. Mm -hmm. I am quite interested in. I am quite interested in. Japanese. Uh, okay. I think um, the pital is very wonderful. Okay. I really hate raining days. Okay. I don't like the wind, the hot weather. And I think the mud screen mm -hmm. is really energy. Mm. Está bien, está bien hecha la oración. 
Uh, could you repeat oh. again? I think that. I think to scream. De gritar, scream. Mm -hmm. I think to scream. Is really energy. Okay, energizing. Energizing, energizante. Porque energy no. queda como energía. No, en... no, es la última palabra que está aquí, entonces no la estoy pronunciando bien. Energy. ¿Dónde está? Annoying. Ah, ok. Annoying. Annoying. ¿Dónde está? Annoying. I think too much nice is really annoying. Es la última. A annoying. Annoying. A ver. Eh... Es que nosotros hicimos teacher de donde uh -huh. están las caritas. Ah, like. perdón. Sí, ahí está. Annoying. El like y el dislike. No me ubicaba. Sí, ahí está. Annoying. Ah, perdón. Sí, annoying. Annoying es molesto. Mucho But you're right. Bien. Porque también yo entendí energizing. En energy. Pero entonces, energy, energizing. No, sería annoying. No. I think to stream is really annoying. Annoying. That's right. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. Now, Carlita. I really like... Mexican food. Mm -hmm. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy. I enjoy. I enjoy. Okay. I enjoy mm -hmm. cooking. Mm -hmm. I am quite. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. I am quite interested. Interested. In Interesting. No, interested. It interested. Okay. Interesting. No. Interesting. Es que me dice in como el ing. Sería it ah. interested como el pasado. In. It interested. Interesting. Interested. It is. In. Es que quitémosle la n, Carlita. No, okay. no interesting, sino interested. Id, 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 id al final. Ah, okay. Interested. Interested. Excellent. That's the way it is. <laughs> like Carlita. <laughs> I'm quite interested in. <laughs> in music. Music. Okay. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Very good. I, I drink. Mm -hmm. Think. I think. Con I feta think. de zapato. I think. Okay. I think. Mm -hmm, I think. Mm. Okay. Mm, ahí dice animales, ¿verdad? En ese ejemplo que está sí, ahí. Pets, pets son mascotas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero si yo quiero decir solo. Un animal. Uh, you can say uh -huh. cat. I, you can say I think cats. I or think, I think uh, dogs. I think. Or I think turtles. I think dog. Mm -hmm. Dogs or dog, dog, a dog. Okay. I really hate hat. Mm, what hat? Como es? I really, I really. I, uh -huh. I really think pets are. I really hate. Uh -huh. I really. Ah, no le gustan los perritos. Hate. Uh, hate. Ah, no, entonces. It's cat. Cats, cats. Uh -huh. Ok, cats. you can say. Um, puede decir. Um, I, I really hate cats. Right? Or I really hate cats. cats. Uh -huh. Or I, I dislike cats. Ok. Mm -hmm. Or I think cats uh, are not. Uh, are not beautiful, or I think cats are not uh, good pets. I don't know, right? Yeah, okay. there are different ways to express that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Do you don't like? Okay. Excellent. Carita. I don't like uh, the water. It's rain. As you said, easy. The rainy weather. I don't like the, the rain rainy weather. weather. El clima uh -huh. lluvioso. Rain. Rain. Mm -hmm. rainy weather. Rainy weather. Yes, rainy weather. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think. I think. I, I think. I think. Mm -hmm. I think. 
too much um, como de los Claxton, como pitos o... Ah, too much, en ese caso siempre sería noise. Too much noise, noise ruido. ruido. Porque es ruido en general. Yes, ah, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Apple to Mars noise is really 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 mm -hmm. annoying. Annoying. Okay. Annoying. Excellent. Annoying. Thank you, Carlita. Very good. Excellent. Now let's see who else was in your team. Quién más estaba en este equipo? Solo ustedes. Y, y Jorge. 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 Mm -hmm. Jorge. Can you hear us? Would you like to say one or two? No sé si Jorge nos puede escuchar. Would you like to sí, say sí. one or two? Ok. Mm, solo que me salí. En ah, el momento okay. fui a ver. Sí. Don't fui a buscar worry. para agregarme al, al, okay, al WhatsApp. Ok, don't, don't worry, don't worry. It's ok, don't worry. Ok. Next time, George. Ok, let's see uh, Lorena en team. El equipo de Lorena. Roberto, would you like to start? Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. You're sleepy. We're about to finish. Ya casi terminamos. <laughs> It's your last spring of the night. El último spring ya de la noche. Vaya. <laughs> He, she like sleep. <laughs> yes. I enjoy sleeping too. <laughs> um, I... Um, Uh, I dislike dance. Mm -hmm. To uh, dance. I dislike to, to dance. dance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I dislike to dance. I like um, eat uh, pizza and uh, hamburger. And, fast uh, food. Okay. Fast food. Yes. I dislike uh, to eat fast food. I like. Or you like, okay, okay. I like. <laughs> then, then I like to eat fast food. Or uh, I enjoy, uh, I prefer. Okay, I enjoy. Okay. Um, for example, I enjoy, uh, uh, no, uh, I dislike cooking. Or to cook, uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, yes, I dislike to cook. Or okay. I don't like to cook. In general, right. to cook. Um, for example, I hate um, getting or get up um, early um, in the morning. In the morning. Mm. Um, oh. Um, I, I like uh, drive my car. Okay. I like, I like I, to drive to drive my car. Okay. I I like to drive my car. Mm -hmm. I hate you the traffic. Okay, traffic jams. Yes. Uh, Lorena. Hey, what? Okay, Lorena. 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 Wake up, my dear. The last, my turn. The okay. last, the last the minute. Your turn. Okay. Uh, okay. I really, really love chocolate. Mm -hmm. Everything else has chocolate is you, welcome you. to my life. <laughs> um, okay. I hate mice. Okay. I uh, hate, for example, hugging someone sweetie, sweetie, no sé, no sé cómo bien pronunciarlo. Uh, sweetie, hugging, sweet. like this? Uh, hug, pero alguien sudado. Sweet, uh, sweet, sweat, sweat. Sweating, sweating. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like uh, hot weather. Weather. Mm -hmm. um, Um, 
I could spend hours seeing or watching romantic series. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite me meal. 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 My favorite meal is seafood. Um, I like it. Pizza, hamburgers, fast food. Okay. In general. Um, um, what else? I like basketball. I like some sports. I don't like watch a sports channel. I don't like uh, things about uh, extraterrestres. Okay. Um, gente muerta. Dead yeah. people, extraterrestrial life. Uh, <laughs> Dead people. <laughs> uh, I, I don't like it. Um, I don't like it um, scares terror you. movies. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, that's all for me. Okay, thank you. Congrats for all of you that have shared about what you like, what you dislike, what you love, what you hate, okay? Uh, I like because when you know new people uh, in other country uh, or maybe in your jobs, uh, whenever you start using for communicating with other people out of El Salvador, normally when you start um, like a friendship or being a coworker, they start little by little knowing you and asking you about this kind of thing. That's why for me it was important uh, to finish this topic and that you uh, were able to know that there are more expressions to say what you like, what you dislike, what you hate, and what you really annoy, uh, what really annoys you, okay? So I congratulate you and uh, for tomorrow we are going to start the past tense. Okay, so um, I thank you for staying here and uh, I'm going to, to stop sharing and please be safe, have a good night and rest, okay? See you tomorrow, my dears. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. You're welcome. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.